Another successful season for the Albion draws to a close at Turf Moor with records rather than relegation on their mind. Should they win this afternoon wearing their snazzy new home kit for the very first time, they'll reach 41 points, which would be their best ever Premier League tally. It certainly won't be easy, though, with hosts Burnley in sensational form, just one defeat in their last 15 league games and going for their own Premier League points record. Which of these sides can finish this surreal season with a flourish? Tim Field by Bardsley, slotted down the line, Burn tidies up. Dale Stevens has lost it, Lewis Dunk will need to recover, Rodriguez is there, bundled to the ground, Jonathan Moss has a good look and says no, VAR will have a look. Well, Jonathan Moss, you could don't need to be a, a brilliant lip reader to know that he was just saying they're checking it. Tarkovsky comes over to make that point, here is the incident. Stevens, wow, there's not much of a touch, there maybe is a slight nudge, but I think my initial assessment of just waiting for any kind of contact and he was going to take a tumble regardless was accurate, not given, check complete and the right decision has been upheld. Good refereeing that from Jonathan Moss. He'll take the corner, well played Dan Burt. Well Burnt yet to score for the club. A lovely time it would be to do it, final day of the season. Bissouma, what a good challenge, and it falls to him. Bissouma wants to crack it, oh, and hasn't he just? Eve Bissouma with his first ever Premier League goal, and it is an absolute cracker. Take a bow, Eve Bissouma. Albion lead, Nick Pope's clean sheet record is up in smoke. And it's Eve Basuma who's beaten him. Strange corner, miscontrol initially from Basuma had to tackle the ball back. And then look when it comes back to him, one thought in mind, let's hit this. And oh, he's caught that so, so sweetly. Pope didn't stand a chance. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Postage stamp, top corner, no keepers saving that. Albion lead. It's just settled them that stunning Eve Basuma strike. Amazing what a goal can do. It's given them confidence, and now Solly March is spraying passes like that, stretching that Burnley midfield and defence. Lamptey up against McNeil, and he's got the pace to breeze past him and cross it in. A more pace there off the bar. Connolly! And it's deflected wide. It'll be an Albion corner. Well, actually, the Albion players are protesting because I think he's given a goal kick here, Jonathan Moss. Certainly looked like it deflected wide. Morpé is the one who is hanging his head because his header hits the crossbar with Pope beat, and that definitely came off a Burnley player. Great header, rose high and hung in the air to thud it against the crossbar. Connolly going for the spectacular. Kevin Long blocking Connolly's effort. Lamptey, round his man, brilliantly done by Lamptey, Morpé lets it run, McAllister's there straight at Pope. Another looking for his first goal in the Premier League, McAllister either side of Pope and it would have been a second for the Seagulls. They've mopped up everything Burnley have thrown at them so far, but that's a good ball, that's Chris Wood and that's 1-1, that is a brilliant finish. Frustration for the Seagulls, Chris Wood sneaking in behind and finishing with a plomp, his 14th of the season, draws Burnley level just two minutes before the break. Great ball, Lewis Dunk caught out, we don't say that very often at all. Wood's movement was excellent, Wood even pointing to where he wanted it, control was instant, the finish was very, very tidy. Peters with the assist, Wood with the goal, Burnley won, Albion won. 
Great ball that by Dunk. Lamptey across. What a brilliant delivery. Connolly's there. Well blocked by Pope. Albion corner. Could have been more. The most threatening that Aaron Connolly has looked. This ball from Dunk opened it up. Eye of a needle stuff. Lamptey across, fizzed across, so dangerous. Connolly kept it alive. Pope was alert to the danger, though. Look how well Connolly does just to keep it alive and get a shot off. Well, it's turned its way through to Morpay. He helps it on, and Connolly is going to get there ahead of Long, and Connolly breezes past Long as if he's not there. Connolly! Oh, that's a wonderful finish from the young Irishman to restore Albion's lead. Absolutely brilliant from Aaron Connolly. He deserves the celebrations of his teammates. It's his first goal since that brilliant brace against Spurs. Morpé kept it in. Look at Connolly's pace. Brushing aside Kevin Long and clipping it into the corner beyond Pope. Excellent from Connolly. Great strength, great pace, and the eye for goal two. Albion's lead restored just four minutes into the second half. Neil told to move away from it by Westwood, who curls it in. There's the head, and it's 2 2. Well, Albion won't be happy with that one. I think it's Tarkovsky who is being credited with the goal. Or Rodriguez. Both were there. And Burnley pull themselves level for a second time. Westwood also getting congratulations for the delivery. Who got the touch? It is off Rodriguez. Arm in the air from him. Good delivery, lovely flick, 2-2. Two -two. They are checking for an offside, I guess. And that would make sense with Goodmanson there in front of Ryan blocking his movement and his vision. Not sure he would have got to it anyway, but that's far from the point. And it has been chalked off, offside. Albion are reprieved. Crossfield. Tarkovsky, opportunity here, should be 2-2. What a block. Lewis Dunk receives the plaudits from his teammates because Kevin Long has been denied from point-blank here. Lamptey's also hurt himself in the process. Well, Long hasn't scored this season. It opened up from here, though. And Lewis Dunk with the block. Look at Adam Webster's reaction as well. Got straight up to thank his teammate. And there's the header, and it's oh, out from underneath the crossbar. Burnley really threatening an equaliser here. Albion need to be careful. Great delivery, Wood across, and it's thundered off of, I think, Dale Stevens. And the final whistle goes, the end of the season, and it ends with a fantastic win for the Albion to not only stretch their unbeaten run away from home to seven games, but also to reach 41 points, a new record for the Seagulls in the Premier League era. For Graham Potter and his players, it's a job very well done and they can look forward to another season in the top flight. It ends here at Turf Moor, Burnley 1, Albion 2.